Greetings. Today I'd like to show you a brand new program that is out called Yep. You can build you some sweet little what they call invitation apps, but they can be used for so much more besides just invitations. Uh, you can uh, uh, have them for your website when you actually do updates on it. You can invite them to take a uh, look at the new updates. Um, it's really sweet. Uh, you basically can push messages to your users phones whoever installs the app like uh, for instance you could take a uh, uh, set up you a Twitter account just for this app and and have it like a news feed what you do is is you tweet to it and then you can go in the app like on your phone and uh, actually go to the tweet and push broadcast and it will send an instant message to the app user telling them there's a new message like from tweet from Twitter and also within there you can you can actually manually enter messages in the news feed and also broadcast them pretty sweet a lot of uses for it I uh, already right off the bat uh, showed it to a, a restaurant owner and he, he just he jumped right on it he wanted it right off the bat something to uh, add to your arsenal of tools offered and again it's uh, free of course who knows how long it'll be free but uh, it looks like for the time being and for the foreseeable future uh, they'll make them some money by letting you customize URLs and stuff like that. you could have this uh, my yap and uh, go ahead and put here like um, uh, Jose's Mexican food or whatever the case may be you can bar and grill uh, you could actually do it for a church, you could do it for you know, anything, school, whatever the case may be. Okay, I, right when you first go in here, you can create an app, and it's pretty much straightforward. You create an app, you actually choose, right now they're kind of limited on the actual themes, but uh, they're going to be adding a lot more, and actually talking with the uh, developer, they're going to be adding... Uh, more features much more features they've even got funding and everything so this is not something that's just gonna uh, go away this is here to stay so you can choose an app template and just as simple as going in and choosing it and then uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and choose a new one to show you one that I built so let's go ahead and close this So let's go ahead and let's go to my yaps. You'll notice that it uh, it automatically adds. Okay, so it's not published, of course. But uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and just delete that one where I was showing you. Let's go back to the one I've added here. Uh, we'll go to edit, and you'll see right off the bat invitation. Okay, uh, of course uh, you can uh, add pages also. You can do a, another news feed. You can have more than one news feed, people, schedule. And the simple text is very cool, too, because you can just type in text and um, a an URL, and it'll actually turn the URL into a clickable version. So you start out with the invitation, and it'll be a little different when you make your first one, but it's still the same here, okay? I mean, it's... So what you do is you put your invitation, you put your date. You can put a, actually a location and an address. Uh, of course, this is great for for businesses, churches, groups, schools, whatever the case may be. Put a website, and you can put a message down here. You're done. It'll show you that's a start screen, and then that's the second screen that they see. And it's just like that. The URLs are clickable. Schedule. You can set up a schedule. You uh, uh, like say, for instance, this schedule here. I can put information like so just change the date for the fun of it done and it's there okay so you close it and adding is just as simple as clicking the plus button your news feed now here's where the power comes in this is really sweet and don't let Twitter turn you off here it's a very powerful feature okay you import a news feed and you can have more than one you can have uh, two or three it doesn't make any difference but uh, you'll import your your uh, Twitter account just by 
username or you can use a hashtag which is pretty cool also because you can use like one of your existing accounts and just use the hashtag to push updates to this so like if you know you can have one Twitter account and have multiple outs so that's all there is to that now the gallery pretty sweet all you gotta do is import your images you can do as many as you want you open up the import images and it'll actually take a lot of uh, you can choose every one of these and upload at one time if you wanted to I'm not going to but that's how you would that's how you would update the images I've just put some in here for the fun of it now another sweet feature all right and this one was not in the default pages okay I went down here to add page and chose people people's pretty sweet uh, you can add people by clicking this but basically what it does is is you can put a, a picture and information here along with an email a website and a phone number this is pretty good for uh, I mean for all kinds of different uses uh, I could just rattle off 10 right off the bat and as you're watching this I'm sure your mind is working overtime on what you could do with this area <laughs> it can be used for a lot of things uh, emails clickable websites clickable and of course within the app uh, if you click the uh, tap the phone number it'll pull up your dialer for your phone so a lot of things that can be used for right here and events Okay, you can add events, and what this was, this was this was um, nothing more than uh, an actual text page that I added and turned it into events. You can uh, just regular little text. Let's do this. You can enter your text in and type in a URL, and it will turn it into a clickable URL. Lots of uses, folks. So that's really all there is to it, and you can come into your dashboard here at Yap and update this with information or pages, remove pages, and publish it, and it automatically pushes the new app to your customers once it's installed. They never have to go back and get updates. You just keep, um, you come in here and publish, and they'll be notified that there's a new version. Another great one. So we'll do a publish there. Takes you to the publish screen, and that, that's all there is to that and there's really I mean not much more to it you can uh, there's your URL and what happens is is for uh, like on the QR code here it pops up information now what happens is is on for Android users they'll scan this and they'll be taken to the marketplace to install one app and then no matter how many apps you install they'll all appear within that one app so you've got one app with all of your apps, and that makes it pretty cool. Only, uh, one, only one thing, you know, you could have, um, say, for instance, uh, uh, just one app and for a city even, and put in different businesses in it and put their events. You could have a city app, and they'd only your uh, users only install one app. It makes it cool. Lots of things. Once you play with it, you'll see what I'm talking about. So they'll scan it. And they'll be taken install the app and yours appears within it okay now for the iPhone users what they get is an actual mobile version they don't have one at the Apple store I'm not sure if they're going to they're talking about it but at this point and which is fine uh, that way they don't have to install app uh, I mean the iPhone users don't have to install anything so they'll be prompted to install a actual icon which will be like your icon here that you used when you set it up and they click on it and they're taken to a mobile version so it's really sweet and let's close this and just one more thing let's take a look now these are screenshots taking taken from my phone so this is what the the app starts up and what you do is, is there's the actual little icon that will be within it they tap that icon and they start up and show you real quick on your newsfeed okay on your Twitter newsfeed or you can actually 
add your own message in here. It doesn't have to come from Twitter. You can manually add a message from within your phone and broadcast it out. So on the other screen there will be a little arrow here and you just tap it and you're taken to this screen where the broadcast so if I, I you can tell this one's already been broadcast because I tested it. It'll have the little uh, phone there, the megaphone, whatever they call the thing there. Can't think of the name of it. Anyway, so you push broadcast and that message goes. And what happens is, is the user gets a push notification on their phone saying there is a new message. Pretty sweet. Uh, let's go ahead here. Okay, that, I showed you that on the other one. That's the actual people app there or the people part of the app with all of the information that's what they see on the phone and of course there's the gallery again uh, once you like on your on your uh, news feed there push broadcast and instantly to the app installers phone okay I hope you installed this and hey have fun with app it is really cool thanks and I will see you down the road